Redditors who've walked in on your partner or SO cheating. How did you react in that moment? This happened to my grandma. She walked in on her husband at the time in bed with her best friend. She told me she had a seat and waited for them to notice her. When they did she just sat there and said, oh no. Go ahead and finish. She apparently was trying to make it as awkward and uncomfortable for them as possible. I just left and cut all contacts to her, her friends, and her family. She then 6 months later came knocking on my door asking for me back. I opened the door looked her in the eyes as she was crying, begging for a second chance. I didn't say anything and just closed the door on her. Revenge is the door best served closed. Came home early from visiting a buddy so I could surprise my GF. I was the one that got the surprise. Found her and a dude asleep in my bed. Calmly walked up to the side of the bed. Gently woke her up and asked if she wanted pancakes. She must not have realized what was going on. Said hey baby, sure. I said what about him? Does he like pancakes? The look on her face was worth every second of the shitstorm that kicked up after that. I was in college. Dating a football player at a school where football is king. I had never dated an athlete before, and of course I had heard warnings, but he just seemed so nice, and he was cute and fun and I was naive. One night I decided to stop by his dorm room as a surprise. I get there and there is a girl in the hall, crying and banging on his door. I ask her what is up. She explains to me that she is his girlfriend, but he has locked himself in his dorm room with another woman and she is devastated at catching him cheating like this. So in other words, in one moment, I found out my boyfriend had two other girlfriends at the same time. I was upset but really, I just had to laugh. Okay life, you got me. Never again. It was a great learning experience. Came home early from night shift to find her in bed with what I originally thought might have been her mum. Walked up to the bed to make sure the alarm was set. And noticed that either her mum was a lot hairier than I thought, or it was a guy. So I sat down on the edge of the bed, turned the side lamp on thinking okay don't lose it. Turned the bedside lamp on, turned the radio on the alarm clock up to max volume. She opens her eyes, and looks up, looks over the other side of the bed, the dude is starting to wake up. I just look at her, shake my head sadly, got up and left. Didn't say a word. Left everything in the house and started anew. Went to her apartment. Saw her ducking with some guy I'd never seen before. Before I can say anything, she says it isn't what it looks like. I crack up, who the hell even says that when they are caught cheating? While I'm laughing, I manage to ask her what it is if it's not what it looks like. After a little bit where she tries to come up with an excuse, I tell her we're through and walk out. Weirdest 5 minutes of that year. Somewhat similar experience here. But luckily I was of sound mind enough to come up with something that would ruin their moment. I had actually come home a week earlier than I was supposed to from the Air Force. This was a good 15 years ago, and figured I'd surprise her since she'd always talk about how much she misses me, would always send me pictures of her in the mail and write these long letters talking about our future together. Naturally I assumed she would be more than excited to see me walk in the door a week early. Pulled up to the house and figured she was home because her car was there so I was as quiet as possible. Even parked my car down the street a little so she didn't see me pull up and ruin the surprise. Quietly put the key in the lock and slowly twisted, opened the door and the living room was dark. I thought, hum. Maybe she got picked up by some friends and went out somewhere. Oh well even better. I'll set up our room by going to get some flowers and making everything look all romantic and irresistible. Hey it's been a few months, I was a bit pent up at that point. Start walking towards the bedroom and I hear this rhythmic squeaking noise followed by a deep grunt. My instinct reaction was someone broken and trying to rip something off the wall, so I went into ass kicking mode until a few seconds later I heard a high pitched moan of a female. Yeah? I recognized that sound pretty well and knew what was happening. Being in the military I knew the worst possible thing I could do was anything violent. So I wanted to duck up whatever moment they were having. I walked towards the room very quietly while they went at it. Of course they didn't hear me because they were far too deep in their actions. 
Luckily the door was halfway open so I got down and started crawling towards the bed out of their line of sight, slithered over to the edge of the bed they were closest to, and started slowly inching my head up the side until just my eyes were above the edge. It took her a good minute, she was on the bottom, before she looked over and saw angry eyes staring at her. She freaked out so bad that she kicked the dude in the face and he fell off the bed and hit his head on the wall. She screamed louder than I've heard anyone scream in my life and bounced off the bed in a flailing, sweaty mess and I heard her ass hit the ground with a satisfying thud. I stood up, and the guy was in a heap on the floor scared shitless at this dude in full military garb standing over him with crazy eyes. She finally realized who it was and started bawling her eyes out saying I'm so sorry. I was lonely blah blah blah, who cares. I started laughing hysterically and all I said was well dude. She's your problem now. Hope you don't mind herpes. Walked out and blocked her from my life. Only to go on and date someone else who made my life miserable for the next 12 years. I really know how to pick M. My slutty ex. In my bed. In my apartment. I didn't say anything for a good 5 to 10 seconds. Just let them stare at me awkwardly. Then I said alright. Three way. And started to strip. Never have I seen a dude get dressed and disappear so fast. She followed him shortly after once I had my apartment key back in my possession. Haven't seen heard from her since. Got back from seeing my family down south, and went to her house to let our dog out since she was at work and I wanted to see the pup. I walk in and hear noises coming from the bedroom and thought that was odd. I go to investigate thinking the dog was tearing something up. Open the door to see a fat ginger beard balls deep in my girlfriend. She makes eye contact and screams she's sorry. He looks bewildered and just overall confused and the dog was barking and causing a fuss. I threw my hands up in the air and said duck this and walked out. I just want to know if you kept the dog. I'm taking the dog, dumbass. I posted this in a different thread a while ago, about 14 years ago, I caught a girl I was dating for about 6 months blowing some guy in a bedroom at a party we went to. I walked in, saw her and said well, we're pretty much done, turned and walked out. I was walking out of the house and she chased me down. She started yelling at me that it was my fault I caught her and I shouldn't be mad because she was trying to hide it. My wife and I had her as a waitress last year and she's still mad at me. She walked to our table, saw it was me and walked off. About 2 minutes later a different person was our server. You should have told your server why she switched tables. Oh, Erin probably gave you this table because of that time I caught her blowing a dude while we were dating. It's a great story, you should ask her about it. I walked in after a 10 hour shift at work. They were on the couch she was under him. I walked into the kitchen grabbed a glass of something to drink. Walked back into the living room. I told him to stay a bit because she would need help moving out. I told her to pack her shit. Then I sat down in my chair and turned on the TV. It took all of an hour for her to get her shit. The dude left immediately. She bowled her eyes out while sitting at my feet. Commercials came on and I looked at her and asked what the hell are you still doing here? I shut down. It was a strange feeling. For a moment in my life I just didn't care. Well I came in and I caught her red handed creeping with the guy next door. Picture this, they were both but naked, banging on the bathroom floor. How could she forget that she had given me an extra key? Worst part? All this time I was standing there, she never took her eyes off me. Walk upstairs, he's walking out of his room in his boxes and closes the door behind him, tells me he's late for work and still has his hand on the doorknob and won't let go. I already know why. I put my hand over his on the knob and he just looks at me, sighs and sort of runs down the stairs. I open the door and just see a heap of blankets and the comforter, I had just given him for Christmas, in the shape of a person. I pull the comforter off, see a naked girl half awake. I turn around, run downstairs and see his mom on the couch reading the newspaper, yes, he did this while he was still living at home. I ask her where he went. She can tell I'm pretty hysteric and asks me what's wrong. I tell her I need to know where he went. She points to the bathroom. I run to it and it's locked. I take out my bobby pin from my hair, unlock it and jiggle open the door. 
I pitifully start hitting his chest while crying and he's just standing there. Then I realize I just need to get out of there, so I run for the front door but his mother, totally unaware of what's going on, is standing in the door frame, not letting me by until I tell her what's wrong. I run under her arm and out the door to school. Ugh, one of the worst memories ever. Side note, his mom kicked him out after she realized what happened. Walked over to her car and wondered why she wasn't getting out. When I got to the window I saw her head in his lap. I froze, then turned around, walked back to my car and punched it a few times. We had one of those relationships where we'd break up and get back together every couple weeks and I guess we were technically off that weekend. But still it felt like being punched for the next few days. We didn't get back together after that because I finally developed some self-respect. I broke, man I literally felt something in me die. This was 5 years ago, and only in the last 8, 9 months have I felt better about it. I walked into my apartment, and her and her ex-husband were in my bed. Which was a huge duck you to me, cause they both had their own places. So, I walk in, see them, grab him by the throat, I know I know, and drag him outside and throw him into the parking lot. I'm a big dude, I'm 6 feet 8 inches, to 20. So I throw him into the parking lot and she's yelling at me please don't kill him, WTF. I just wanted him out of my house. I wasn't going to hurt or kill the guy. She's running around, picking up her things, and his things, and shouting excuses at me. Oh, it was just a one time thing, we were bored and it was a mistake, we were drinking this morning and this was stupid, who ducking drinks in the morning anyway? I just looked at her and said don't ever speak to me again. You ducking disgust me. Then, I fell onto my couch and cried. She was standing there, watching me, and she tried to walk over and hug me, because now she's crying too. I pushed her away from me. I cried non-stop for the rest of the day. Fell into a deep, deep, depression. Started doing painkillers, drinking, pretty much every drug I could get my hands on. I hurt so bad, mentally, that it was physically crippling. The hardest part wasn't even breaking up with her, it was not talking to her daughter, who was going to be my stepdaughter. I was even saving to buy the ring. Me and her were butts, man. We went everywhere together, I took her to preschool, we'd go to the mall every Friday and get ice cream, I'd buy her some toys, or some clothes, whatever struck my eye. I've since moved to a different state. Got a good job, got my life back together. Have an amazing girlfriend. She looks at me with love, and I look at her, and I see hope in her eyes. It took years, but things finally actually turned around.